Hey everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. So every day that goes by, we are getting one day closer to Ethereum making the transition from proof of work to proof of stake, and therefore one day closer to us having to make the decision on where we're gonna migrate our hash rate. So right now, I think one of the top contenders for migration is Flux. But one of the things I continually hear from people in the community is they're concerned about the additional power draw and therefore the additional heat that's gonna be generated when they make the transition. So what I wanna to do today is I wanna take a sample graphics card. So we're gonna look at an RTX 2060 six gigabyte graphics card, and we're gonna take a look at a maximum hash rate configuration and a maximum efficiency configuration and compare the two. So before we get too deep into this, I do wanna say that even though we're using the 2060 as an example, this is ultimately going to apply to any of the 16 series, 20 series, and 30 series NVIDIA graphics cards. And you'll see why as we get later on into the video. So right now we are configured uh, for our maximum hash rate configuration. And the miner has been up and running for less than 10 minutes, but I've done this test many times so I do have the exact numbers that I'm gonna punch into what to mine to look at profitability, but I wanted to make the configuration changes so you could see in action what it is I'm actually doing. So right now you can see we're at 41.67 solutions per second at 125 watts, and we're achieving this with a core clock of plus 120 and a memory clock of plus 2500 and a power limit of 125. Now, if I were to let this configuration run for an hour, two hours, or, or even days, this is ultimately going to settle out around 41.42 solutions per second, and the power consumption is going to settle out at 121 watts. So let's jump over here to what to mine, and let's put those numbers in, 41.42 solutions per second at 121 watts, and I've done a little bit of advanced manipulating to figure out the cost of 23 cents per kilowatt hour is essentially the break even. So if you are paying 23 cents per kilowatt hour and you are running 41.42 solutions per second at 121 watts, you will profit nothing, zero profit. Okay, so. Now, let's keep these numbers in mind and let's go back over to our Hive OS. And we're now going to change the configuration of this card to be our maximum efficiency configuration. We'll put those numbers into what to mine and we'll compare the two. So we'll go ahead and make those changes and we'll be right back. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've adjusted the overclocks on this RTX 2060 and we're now configured for our maximum efficiency on this graphics card. So right now we're at 28.31 solutions per second at 72 watts. Uh, we've been up and running for about 14 minutes now. So again, if we continue to let this run for hours or even days, this hash rate is gonna settle out probably around 28.25 solutions per second at 71 watts. So how did we achieve this maximum efficiency? Well, we did it by locking the core clock. So for those of you that have mined Ethereum with a 16 series, 20 series, or 30 series card, you know that we achieve maximum efficiency by locking the core clock. In this case, we've locked it at 1050. So we've also slightly reduced the memory. We're down to 2400 from the previous 2500. And again, as a result, we've reduced our power consumption by 50 watts. And we are at a lower hash rate, and therefore a lower yield. But let's plug these numbers into what to mine and take a look at our profitability. So again, for the purposes of this exercise, we're gonna plug in 28.25 solutions per second, which is my long-term stable hash rate, and 71 watts, which is my long-term stable power consumption. And we're gonna keep that same 23 cents per kilowatt hour, and let's see what our profitability is now. So now you can see our profitability is six cents per day compared to a break even or zero profit in our maximum hash rate configuration. So let's pull up a, uh, a notepad here 
and let's compare these two configurations. So our max hash rate, we had a core of 120, memory of plus 2,500, and 125 watt power limit. We were drawing 121 watts to achieve 41.42 solutions per second, or an efficiency of 0 0.342. And again, at 23 cents electric rate, we were breaking even. So our maximum efficiency is a locked core clock of 1050, a memory of plus 2400 with no power limit. We're down to 71 watts and 28.25 solutions per second or an efficiency of 0 0.398. And at 23 cents electric, we are profitable at six cents per day. So again, these numbers aren't great, let's be honest. Making six cents a day mining flux on a 2060 is certainly not an ideal situation but some profit is better than no profit. As long as you are profitable, you are better off still mining than using cash money or fiat to actually buy the crypto. So once Ethereum moves to proof of stake and we are looking at mining Flux as our primary source of revenue, your best bet is going to be configure your cards for maximum efficiency and accept a slightly lower yield so that you can still remain profitable even at a higher electric cost. So again, quick recap. Uh, maximum efficiency, you're gonna be running significantly lower power, therefore generating less heat, and also remaining profitable even at a higher electric cost. So I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this doesn't just apply to this 2060. This applies to any of the 16 series cards, the 20 series cards or the 30 series card, any card that you can lock the core clock, you can achieve similar results. So I, uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, hit the notification bell to be notified of future content. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.